this is Pinky, and this will be a tutorial on uploading your very first avatar to VRChat. So I'm going to start out with the very bare basics here. You will need Unity. This is a free editor, so we will head over to the unity.com slash download, and we'll hit download for Windows right here, and it will start downloading our Unity Hub setup. So I will wait for this to go through. Now that it is done, we will open it up, we'll hit yes, and we'll agree, we'll pick our file location for where we want to download it, so I'm just going to keep it on my C drive, and I'm going to hit install. Now after it is done installing, we are going to make sure we hit this just so it starts, and we will hit finish. So this will boot Unity Hub as soon as we have finished installing it. So now that Unity Hub is open, it's going to tell us to download the newest version of Unity, but this is not what we want to do. So we're actually going to hit skip installation. So our next step here will be going over to the download archive. I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. And we're going to make sure we hit Unity 2019X and we're going to scroll down till we find exactly this version. So this is what we need for the Unity Hub. Uh, this is what we need for Unity. This is what VRChat requires you to run on. So this is the one we will install. And we're gonna hit the big blue Unity Hub button here. And it'll pull up a little prompt here and we'll just hit open in Unity Engine. And now as you can see, it opens up. Now you wanna make sure that you install the Android build support. This is very important. So if you wanna upload your avatar to Quest, you wanna make sure you select this. And now we're gonna hit continue. Now we're gonna accept the terms, install. And now the process of installing will start. I am going to speed up this part because this will take quite a bit. Anyways, I will see you guys shortly. Okay, now that our Unity is installed, as you can see, it is all done. And we have our Unity version in our installs, as you can see. And just to double check, uh, if you look at it, we can see that we have the Android and Windows install here. So our next step will be heading over to vrchat.com and we will make sure that we log into our account and we're going to head over to the download section and we're going to click this, download the creator companion. So it's going to install just a little here and after that is done, I'm going to click on it and I'm going to do install for me only because I'm only going to install this on my thing. If you're sharing your computer with multiple people and they also use Unity, you could do this. But personally, I'm just going to install it only for me. I'm going to accept the agreement, press next, next, and I'm going to install it. Okay, so now that VRChat Creator Companion is installed, we are going to actually head over to this top bar right here and we're going to create a new project. Now, as you can see, I have a lot of projects in my list already. This is because I've actually used Creator Companion quite a lot, but this is under the assumption that you have nothing here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the create a new project. We're going to click on the avatars. We're going to name this res because that is the avatar name. And we're gonna select our location. So my location is on my D drive and it's in my old Unity projects folder. I would recommend putting this to somewhere that you will remember and keep safe from downloading and deleting. Anyways, I'm going to hit create project. And inside of here, I'm actually going to be adding the gesture manager and the avatars 3.0 manager by hitting this plus over here on the side. And now I'm going to hit this little back arrow and I'm going to hit open project. Now I'm going to give it a little bit because it's going to take some time to load everything. So I will quickly cut back to there. Okay, so now that we are in, to, we're going to quickly wait to check that all our packages are done, as there is an error. So, to know that we are in, we're going to head over to our VRChat SDK, and we're going to hit Show Control Panel. And after this loads up, we will be prompted to log in with our VRChat account. Mine automatically logged in since I logged in off screen, but you'll have to enter in your uh, login credentials here. And now we're going to head over to the builder. So. We are going to now add our two files. So that being our Poyomi, 
to get Poyomi, we're going to head over to the Poyomi GitHub repository. We're going to head over to releases and we're going to click on the newest one and we're going to download it right here. And as for our avatar, I'm going to be using the res uh, Zonium in this example. And I'm actually going to head over. I've already bought this avatar, of course, and I'm going to hit view content and it'll bring me to the Gumroad page. And we are going to be downloading the Unity package. So you're going to make sure that yours is a Unity package file format and you're going to hit download. So now that we are here, I'm going to drag them both in. Starting off, we're going to do Poyomi first. This will be a decently long process, so I'm actually just going to skip ahead. Okay, now that our Poyomi is done installing, I'm going to drag in our avatar now, and I'm going to add that. Okay, so now that everything is imported over, so the very important thing is some of your avatar uh, creators like to do some different things. So in my case, I have a Unity uh, file that I need to open. So you can either double click this to open it, or you can drag it over here to your hierarchy. Uh, some of them will make prefabs, they will look like this. So to know the difference between a prefab and an FBX, the FBXs have these little arrows here, they open up and they show you all the components. A prefab is just a prefab of an avatar that you could drag in. Now, for this example, I'm actually going to be using the combined face tracking version. So I'm going to turn all the other ones off and make sure that I have the one I want to upload showing. Now, the next step will be opening up the VRChat SDK, going to show control panel. And after this has to pop up, we are going to head over and we're going to hit the build and publish for Windows. So if this button is grayed out and you can't click this, you may want to look through this list here because there will be some things that pop up and say that you need to either auto fix it or that there's something that's a problem with your avatar. If there's something that you can't understand fully right now, I would uh, suggest contacting the creator of your avatar. Otherwise, thankfully for mine, mine is ready to upload. So I'm just going to hit the build and publish for Windows. Now it's going to ask some random things here. I'm going to say no to that. And for locking materials, I'm going to hit OK. So this process also takes quite a while because of Poyomi shaders. So I will also speed this part up. Okay, so now that we are in our upload scene avatar, so we will be able to name our avatar in this. I'm going to call it res test. You can add a description if you want. And for different content warnings, whether or not you want it to be public or by yourself only private. And we're going to make sure we click this. So we're going to head over to the scene and I'm going to drag this down to set the solid color. And I'm going to make sure that it's pink. So now I'm going to head over to game. Uh, sadly, it looks like mine is bugged, but if you wanted a custom thumbnail, this is exactly how you would do it. You'd move the camera here, make it look, and head back over to the game and hit upload. So I'm going to again wait for this to happen. Okay, and now we are done. So just in case you don't want to hop in VRChat and you want to see that it's successfully uploaded, you can actually head over to the VRChat SDK up here, hit show control panel, and then after this loads up, again, it's quite slow. We are going to just head over to our content manager. Now, if you click this tab, you can see that your uploaded avatar will appear down at the bottom. Anyways, thank you for watching. This has been a tutorial on how to upload your avatar to PC. I will have a second part out soon that will include how to upload your quest. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you have a good rest of your day. And uh, if this has helped you, please like, uh, like and subscribe. I would like to start off by thanking my Patreons, that being FoxyDK, Hamu, Piku, Sir Fappingson, Maple the Proto, Teth, and lastly, Sarcastic Split. I appreciate you guys very much. Thank you for subscribing to the Patreon. 
um, if you guys would like to become a part of the Patreon subscribers, I will have a link to that in my description. You also, at the $25 tier, get a funny little goofy stream buddy. Anyways, thank you very much again. I appreciate it. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I'll kick you out.